Hello everyone. Now, as you know, Michael Jordan fans are the worst sports fans of all time. And one of the many reasons why is because these people really believe that my NBA page, known as the Universe Galaxy NBA, is an anti-Michael Jordan page. They will say things like, this page is an anti-Michael Jordan page, or this page is a Michael Jordan hater page, or this page is dedicated to taking down Michael Jordan, or this page is against Michael Jordan, or this page is a joke, or this page is funny, or this page is weird, or this page is strange, or this page is sad, or this page is pathetic, or this page is stupid, or this page is ridiculous. And they will say things like, I am going to report this page to YouTube to get it deleted. Or, hey everyone, let's report this page to get it deleted. Or, hey everyone, do not subscribe to this page. And there are more examples, but you get the point. Now, I am going to explain to you why all this is ridiculous. Here are the reasons why in no particular order. Understand why they react the way they do. They are in love with Michael Jordan. They are zombies for Michael Jordan. They are cult members for Michael Jordan. They are brainwashed for Michael Jordan. They are not educated people. They are not that smart. They are not professional and they are emotional. They have no proof that they are right and you are wrong on whatever they disagree on. Or they are too dumb to realize that they have no proof that they are right and you are wrong on whatever they disagree on. They want to find anything to make themselves feel like they won. And there are more examples, but you get the point. So they do these type of things. Next, let's assume that all the stupid things that they think about my page are true. Why would they react the way they do? They shouldn't be reacting in these kinds of ways. These are not normal reactions for a person. And a normal person does not react in these ways for a YouTube page, for a sports page, for an anti-Michael Jordan page, for a page that is not as into Michael Jordan as they are. But because they react in the ways that they do, it shows you in general how they are. Next, how do Michael Jordan fans explain that usually the only people that do all these things are Michael Jordan fans? If all these things were some things that had nothing to do with being a Michael Jordan fan, then all the NBA fans, or most of the NBA fans, would be doing these type of things. And yet, it is usually Michael Jordan fans who are doing these type of things. How do Michael Jordan fans explain this? Next, let's assume that all the stupid things that they think about my page are true. Are they new to YouTube? There's lots of pages like this. There's lots of pages that are about one topic. There's lots of pages that question some topic. There's lots of pages that question someone or some people about a particular topic. There's lots of questionable pages when it comes to a certain topic. There's lots of sports pages like this. There's lots of sports pages that are about one topic. There's lots of sports pages that question some topic. There's lots of sports pages that question someone or some people when it comes to a certain topic. There's lots of questionable sports pages when it comes to a certain topic. Next, let's assume that all the stupid things that they think about my page are true. So then, why do they come here? Now they can say that they didn't know the details about my page when they came here. Okay, but some do. So why would they come here? And when it comes to the people who knew the details about my page or who didn't know the details about my page, why do they come back to my page? Why do they come back to my page so many times? Why do they come back to my page for days, for weeks, for months, and for years? Why do they spend so much time on my page? Why do they interact with other people on my page? Why do they play the videos? Why do they press the like button? Why do they write in the comment sections? Why do they take part in the polling? Why do they share the videos? Why do they let others know about the page? Why do they come to the live stream? Why do they subscribe? And why do some of them do these things on my second page? And why do some of them go on my podcast for my second page? And why do some of them donate to me on my second page? And why do some of them become members on my second page? Next, let's assume that all the stupid things that they think about my page are true. If they support my page in the way or ways that they do, they are helping the page stay popular and they are helping the page become more popular. Next, if this was an anti-Michael Jordan page, wouldn't I make 
more anti-Michael Jordan videos? Next, if this was really an anti-Michael Jordan page, wouldn't I make really silly videos? Like, you know, show lots of videos of Michael Jordan doing bloopers, or videos of him acting funny, or him missing shots, or of him being in funny positions? Wouldn't I show him smiling in a goofy way, and put clown music, and put stupid memes, and make clown videos? Next, Michael Jordan fans have a contradiction. There are Michael Jordan fans who make these type of videos of other NBA legends, especially LeBron James. And Michael Jordan fans don't question those Michael Jordan fans. That is a contradiction. Next, Michael Jordan fans have a contradiction. Let's assume that all the stupid things that they think about my page are true. How come they don't question the other pages that go in the other direction for Michael Jordan? Because they think my page is all one-sided against Michael Jordan. But then they don't question other pages that are all one-sided for Michael Jordan. Just as a general rule, how come they don't usually question YouTube pages that are for Michael Jordan? I mean, there are tons of pages for Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan fans never question any of these pages. That is a contradiction. Next, let's assume that all the stupid things that they think about my page are true. I want you to think about something logically. There are tons of pages on YouTube that are in love with Michael Jordan. And there are less pages that are into Michael Jordan. And there are less pages that have lots of stuff that show that they are not into Michael Jordan. There is hardly any other page out there that show that they are not into Michael Jordan. And there is hardly any other page out there that shows that they have lots of stuff that they are not into Michael Jordan. And yet, they ignore the majority of the pages and they focus on the minority pages. Or the minority pages that show that they are less in numbers compared to the popular pages. Or the few minority pages or the only minority page. Next, if they really believe what they believe about my page, how do they explain that I take calls on my live stream and I put them on my podcast on my second page? If I was really against Michael Jordan, why would I take calls to show the other side? If I was so against Michael Jordan, wouldn't I not take any calls? And when I take calls, why would I keep them for a long time? Why would I be nice to them? Why would I let them call in multiple times? On my live stream, why would I go over other topics? Why would I plug their page? Next, if they really believe the things that they believe about my page, then how do they explain the fact that I have some pro Michael Jordan videos? Next, if they really believe the things that they believe, then how do they explain the fact that I have not one, not two, not three, but four Michael Jordan's stories videos? Next, if they really believe what they believe about my page, then how do they explain the fact that I rarely put a video that is about a story about an NBA legend? And yet I have four Michael Jordan stories videos. Next, if they really believe what they believe about my page, then how do they explain that I made a playlist about Michael Jordan stories? Next, I hardly put any playlists out there, and yet I have a playlist for Michael Jordan. How do they explain that? Next, I put the playlist of Michael Jordan stories on the front of the page. How do Michael Jordan fans explain that? Next, the front of the page hardly has any playlist. And yet I put a playlist of Michael Jordan on the front of the page. How do Michael Jordan fans explain that? Next, let's assume that all the stupid things that they think about my page are true. How do they explain the fact that I have said nice things about Michael Jordan? Next, if they really believe the stupid things that they believe about my page, then how do they explain the fact that the majority of my videos have not been about Michael Jordan? Next, how come when I tell Michael Jordan fans that this is not an anti-Michael Jordan page, they don't believe me? Next, when it comes to the videos that I put on the page, why don't they pay attention to the people in the videos? Next, if they really believe the stupid things that they think about my page, then by their logic, those things in general apply to the people in the videos. Next, there is no fact to prove that the page is an anti-Michael Jordan page. Hey, please subscribe. And if you disagree with me on something, you can go on my program and show me your facts on whatever you disagree on. If you want to go on, let's set it up. Send me an email. The email is right there in the description section. Thank you.